Hello everybody, it's Barbara here again today. Um, from today's session, a little bit different, we're going to just um, do a little bit more with pelvic floor work today. So if you're watching this obviously at home, um, some of the exercises towards the end, you need a, a, a chair, we don't want any wheels on it, just want to be nice and sturdy. Um, if you've got a small hand towel, we're going to use that and we're going to roll it um, and then I'll let you know what we're going to do with that later. And if you happen to have one of these bands, that might be useful for when we go down onto the mat. If you haven't got one, it doesn't matter. If you've got a long band, you can always tie that round, tie a knot in it and use that for the band work. But again, don't worry if you haven't got one. So, pelvic floor, we cue this quite a lot in Pilates and the pelvic floor, as you probably know, is there to support all the abdominal organs really deep into the pelvis and also it um, moves in sequence with the diaphragm when we're breathing. So what I want you to do is, I just want you to just tap you can just use the palm of your hand over the pelvis. It's just bringing awareness to where we're going to be working. So all over this pelvis at the front and then moving round to the back. Just giving a nice tap here. You can use the fists if you want to. And again, we're just waking up those nerve endings just to make us aware of where we're going to be working. Well done. And then just brush down. Well done. Lovely. And then we're ready to go. So I want you to take your feet quite uh, wide, but you know, as long as you can keep control. And we're just going to do a basic squat. So just come up and down to start with. So just get the rhythm of the movement. Don't snap your knees when we're going up and down into this wider squat. So let's ask ourselves, what are we working here? So as we come down, your pelvic floor is gonna widen. As you come up, pelvic floor narrows. And I'm just gonna mirror this with my little gadget toy here. So think about this as your pelvic floor, as you're coming down, it's gonna widen. And then as you're coming up, you're drawing all that muscular, muscular fibers together. As we're going down, pelvic floor is going to widen. And then as we're coming up, it's drawing in together. So remember, we're breathing as we're doing this. We're not holding our breath. Well done. Just do one more. Lovely, and then come up tall. Well done, I'll just put that down. So now what I want you to do is, I want you to put your hands on the sit bones, so that's the sort of really base of the pelvis, and you're gonna feel what happens when we go down into our squat now. So again, as we come down, you should feel these sit bones as though they're widening apart. And as you're coming up, they're drawing back together. So they're widening and they're narrowing. So this is where the part of the pelvic floor is attached to these sit bones. So again, we're widening and we're drawing back up. One more, we're gonna widen through these sit bones and then we're drawing back up. Now I want you to put your hands just on the bony bits of the pelvis at the top here and try and feel what's happening when you're going up and down in the squat. So as you're coming down into the squat, you might feel that those uh, big pelvic bones just roll in a little bit. Don't worry if you don't. So keep going with that. So pelvis rolls in when we're coming down, it rolls out as we come up. Lovely, keep going. Pelvis rolls in and it rolls out. One more, we're coming in with that pelvis and it rolls out on the way up. Well done, just give the legs a little bit of a shake 
and then one more little try. So one hand's going to be on that pelvis, the other hand's going to be on your sit bone. So we're going down into that squat, sit bones widen, and that pelvic half rolls in a little bit. As you come up, the pelvic half rolls out a little bit and the sit bone rolls in. So again, just try and get that feeling of what's happening when you're actually working through the pelvic floor. So the sit bone widens, pelvic half turning in a little bit, and then as we come up, the pelvic half turning out and the sit bone coming in. A couple more. Well done. Lovely. Give the legs a little bit of a shake and then we're going to go into a narrow squat. So I'm just going to turn round. So the feet are uh, much closer together, about hip width apart. And then again, we're doing the same with the squat. We're going to bring the arms forward, but we're keeping the knees in line. And then we're pushing down to come up. So again, still think what's happening with those sit bones coming together and then widening. We're coming down, sit bones widen, and sit bones come together. And then this time we're coming forward, palms come down, and I just want you to feel as though you're just lifting and lowering the bottom. Keep breathing. Lovely. And then just still the body, breath in as you exhale, push that air away and come back up tall. Well done, everybody. Just give those legs a little tap and then we're going to make our way down onto the mat. So when you do this, if you've got your band, just put it to the side so it's there when we need it. Okay, so we're coming back down onto our backs. We're just going to take a second just to rest that back down. Just be aware of the breath for a second. And then I want you to bring the feet, remember it's hip width apart and it's quite a narrow stance. And we're not coming up into a spine curl, we're coming more into a breach. So this is going to be work in the pelvic floor as well as your glutes as well. So when you're ready, breath in as you exhale, just feel as though you're lifting the bottom away from the floor. It's like you're standing into your feet. And then we're going to just drop the bottom down again. Okay? So again, just keep going with that. You're going to feel the glutes firing. And then we're dropping the bottom back down. Keep going. So your glute muscles are attached to your pelvic floor. So every time you're working your glutes, you're working your pelvic floor as well. So drop the bottom down, lift it back up again, feel as though you're just standing on your feet. Couple more. Well done. One more. And then release back down. Well done. So now we're going to start a little bit more challenging. So keep it at that first level if that's better for you. Otherwise, we're going to just float this right leg up into our half tabletop. We're going to do the same move. And obviously, it's a bit more of a challenge because you've got a balance issue as well. So breath in as you exhale. Just let the body lift away from the mat. Think about the knee going up towards the ceiling and then you're dropping back down. So breath in as you exhale. Just lift the bottom. Feel you've got a bit of string on that kneecap that's drawing you up. And then dropping that bottom down. So challenge here is that you're keeping the pelvis in alignment so you're not tilting. Well done. A couple more. Lovely. And then drop that bottom down, slowly release that leg. So we're going to go with the other side now. 
So you might find differences on one side than the other. So float that other leg back into your half tabletop, so knees above that pelvis, and we're going with the other side. So breath in as you exhale, just lift from the bottom, again, knee up towards the ceiling, and then we're dropping back down. So we lift up, well done, drop back down. Lift up, drop back down. One more, lifting up, well done, and then just letting the bottom come back down onto the mat. Well done. So just a little bit of a rest in between. So arms are coming out into our wide position, glue your legs together and then just do a hip roll. Take the head in the other direction, draw back with those abdominals, go back the other way. Well done, just to release that back a little bit. Lovely. And then come back into the center and then this is where, if you've got one of these bands, we're going to pop it round and just back a little bit from the knees. So this just gives a little bit more tension. If you haven't got one, it doesn't matter. If you've got a long one as a tie and knot, you could always use a pair of tights or something just to give you that little bit of just gives you a little bit more of awareness when we're doing uh, our pelvic floor work. So again, we're going to come up by just lifting the bottom. Okay, you should feel that the hip joints open up and you feel, really feel that these sit bones are coming together. So again, that pelvic floor fibers are coming in together, shortening, and then when you come down, the sit bones are widening again, okay? So just up and down, lovely, well done. Really feel as though you're just stepping into your feet and then dropping the bottom down. Here we go. Lovely. And then this time I want you to stay in that elevated position and we're just going to pulse. So the thighs are just pulsing into the band. Keep going, keep breathing. So although you feel as though you're working in and out of thighs, glutes are working and the pelvic floor is working, getting a workout as well. Well done. And then just still the legs. And then this time we're going to peel back down like we normally do in our spine curls. So moving from in between the shoulder blades, feel as though the breastbone sinks down into the mat and just let that spine really release. Lovely. And then just get rid of that band. Obviously you can do a lot more reps if you want to. And I just want you to just lift the bottom a little way and just feel if you've got any tension, we're just stroking that tension away. And let the bottom go. Well done. So let's just do a little glute stretch. So whatever foot, I'm going to go with my right one. We're just going to pop that foot onto the top of the opposite thigh. You can just gently, again, you're not forcing anything. You're just really just intensifying the stretcher if you want to. Breathe. And then if you want a little bit more, remember we can just catch hold of that uh, other thigh and just draw in. So you can re I can really feel that working around this glute pelvic floor area. Lovely. 
lovely. Just let that foot rest down, unravel, well done. And then when you're ready, we'll go with the other side. So just drawing that other leg gently in, just popping the foot over that thigh. And then again, if you want to, just a little bit of tension there, just inside the knee. Lovely. If you want to take it a little bit further, float that leg so it's as though your elbow is just nudging into the inner side of that knee. Again, it really intensifies that stretch right round onto the buttock. Lovely. And then just let that foot release, unravel the legs. And then we're going to just roll over and we're just coming up and then this is where we're going to use the chair so I'll pop it on uh, so again this is quite a useful exercise if you are working from home and you're sitting uh, at an office table or computer so you just need a small hand towel and we you want to roller it up quite tightly Okay, and I'm going to sit uh, with my right sit bone onto that towel. It could probably do with being a little bit more bulky actually. So what I want you to do, you're sat on, right sit bone is going to come onto that towel and then I want you to drop your left sit bone into the chair. So if I had a pelvis, you'd probably feel that your pelvis was just a little bit lopsided. And then you're going to lift up that left sit bone so you're aligning the pelvis. And then you're dropping down. So the sit bone tilts down and then you lift it back up again. So you're working your pelvic floor here. Lovely. One more time. And then just let that sit bone on the left side drop back. And then just, if you can, as though you're just brushing the chair with that sit bone, just to release it a bit more and then just bring that to a still and then obviously we're going to do the other side so you need a little bit more bulk in the towel to give you that little bit more that when you're relaxing the other side down so now i've got my left sit bone onto that roll and i'm just going to let the right side drop back down and then we're going to lift up that sit bone so they're coming aligned and then we're going to drop back down. We're going to lift up and then we're going to drop back down. Lifting up and then dropping back down. One more. We're going to lift that right sit bone up and then we're dropping it back down. And then again, just as though you're polishing the chair with that right sit bone. Well done. And then just take a minute to sit properly in the chair and just, you know, ask yourself, well, actually, how does my pelvic floor feel? You'll probably feel a little bit more spread out it's just you know it's had a chance to just let go okay so from there I just want you to rock forward and back so we're gonna rock for about five of these and then on the fifth one we're gonna come up to standing so one two three four on the fifth one up we come well done and again, just give your buttocks a little bit of a shimmy there. And then what we're going to do is I want you to take your hands, we want to overlap them, and we're just going to put them onto our neck area. Okay. 
and then I want you to, we're going to go to the right, so I want you to gently, as you're flexing to the right, squeeze the back of the neck, and then unclench the back of the neck to bring you up. So other side, we're going to gently just squeeze the back of the neck, and we're just going over to the left. And then let that release go as you come back up. Well done. So we'll go to the right again. So gently squeezing the back of the neck. We're going over to the right. And then we're going to let that tension go from the back of the neck. One more on this other side. So we squeeze the back of the neck. It's a bit like a sponge. We go over and then release on the way up. Well done. So let the arms go, and I just want you to shake the arms. Well done. And I want you to bring them forward, just shaking. Go again. Get rid of all that tension. Coming forward. Lovely. Take them up, and then just let them go. So go again, coming up and then let them go. Okay, folks, so we're gonna finish there. So it's quite a lot to think about. So if you can remember it and obviously watch the recording, try and practice it. And the best thing for pelvic floor is to go walking. So that's easy enough. Okay, see you next time.